Hunter. Pretty cool game, by the way. You guys are amazing, so thanks very much for the support. You know, we have one emote in chat from one fast food place that actually has bones. Yeah, got our got our KFC emote, so hopefully we don't find chicken bones. Hopefully these are dinosaur bones today. Dino DNA! Yeah, no kidding. Thanks again, boys, for all the likes. Appreciate that. I can finally see all of the people who are watching again and all your likes. So thank you, everybody, for smashing like. I see a lot of you doing that, so thanks to you who did that. And welcome, everybody. Good to see you all here. This game will be available on Steam soon, but right now it's like a YouTuber-only demo. So they sent me a key. So we're going to try this out. Don't know how long the game is, so we could beat it in maybe 40 minutes or we could beat it in six hours. I don't know. But we're just going to play so welcome aboard, everybody. If you subscribe, your name should pop up here on the screen. So welcome to all the new subs, like uh, Taylor L. Sullivan. Wow, subbing right away as soon as he heard that. Nice job. Welcome again, everybody. Good to see you all here. Thanks for all the big O super chats this week. Welcome to all the big O new members. And keep in mind, if we get 15 new members today, we have ourselves a giveaway. You all ready? You ready for fun? Cool. I got a new hat today, by the way. It came in the mail. I got this really cool, like, 50 caliber ammo box. And then it came with, like, a bunch of T-shirts and, like, hats and stuff in it. So I'm, I'm wearing it all now because it's really cool. It's from uh, Total Tank Simulator. You guys heard of that game before on the channel? Yeah. It's super cool. Yeah. So I figured I'd wear my hat and break it in. So we're going to break it in because it's pretty cool. All right. You guys ready? You guys want to play some video games? Time for a little sip, baby. Is this game made by the creators of House Flipper? Kind of. Like, they're all kind of the same teams. I love these little simulator games. Like, a game like, you know, Dino Fossil Hunter Simulator, it doesn't really have to be that hard. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be, like, a super AAA title. It's like you're going out to the mud to, like, scoop up dinosaur bones. You know? Yeah, we're, lo we're looking for my, my homies. So if you guys see them, let me know. All right, we ready? All right, let's start a whole new game. How's the music? It seems balanced, right? Okay. Let's start a new game. Ooh, it looks pretty. I see the P.O. box is set. Uh, I don't have a P.O. box yet, but maybe sometime soon. You hope I find a raptor? I do, too. I don't know, there could be T-Rexes, Raptors, I don't know. Somewhere in Can Canada, somebody's missing their hat. Yes, indeed. Little Timmy's, bud. Uh, are things going? Uh, old X2, oh, there we go. Let's start. Dinosaur Fossil Hunter is not finished yet. It's an active development and can contain bugs and performance issues. There are some missing features. If you want to share your opinion with us, please visit our Discord channel. Yeah, so it's not a nowhere near complete, but it's a cool little concept. Richard Greaves with the five. Thank you, dude, for the support. Appreciate that. Does it look like I'm wearing different hair? It looks like I'm wearing a wig. I feel like I'm Kit Boga, and I'm about to call as a grandma and, like, scam some scammers. All right, what do we have here? Hey, Dave McDermott has become a raptor egg. How appropriate. Oh, look, guys. Ancient kitties. Oh, look. Wow, they had cats back then, too. Amazing. Look at how majestic they are. Maybe we should get the laser pen. This game is very short. Well, we'll see about that, Thurston. We can milk it. Besides, I want to see everything there is to do. Now, this is an ancient armadillo, guys. New member, welcome. Oh, yes, we have ourselves a new member. Wow, that model actually looked quite nice. They did a good job of making it look like a uh, ancient uh, prehistoric uh, dog or whatever it is. Nice. Who is that, guys? Do you know who that is? Wow, that's a tall one. Wait, what the? This museum's like built in the middle of a forest? What the? Okay. I 
I guess we're the curator of a museum now. Your museum is starting to run out of free space, and yet you think you've just gotten started. When I was four years old, I loved to draw dinosaurs. Are you kidding me? We gotta draw a dinosaur now? Um, let's see. Oh, we grabbed the pen. Let's see. That looks right. New subscriber shout out. Perfect. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we almost got it. Hold on. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Get careful. Hold on. We gotta paint this, uh, I believe this is an ancient, uh, oop, missed one, elephant. So I assume this is going through this kid's history or whatever, where he wanted to, like, he was fascinated with dinosaurs. Well, this is basically my story. Raptor the game, if you guys want to see. This is, this is all about my jam. Hard to draw with this pen. Oh well, I'm supposed to be like four anyway, so that's pretty darn good for a four year old. There we go. Yay, smiley face. Cool. Uh, it was one of the most exciting days of my life. When I was eight, I found my first fossil. Grandpa! Oh no, just kidding. What the hell? Where are we now? Oh, this is the, uh... Oh! Right here is Germany. And this is the Netherlands. Oh, look at that. So we're in Europe, confirmed. Oh, it won't let me go out any further. Look, guys, a fossil. Maybe not. You've put 1 to 1 1.5 hours through the demo? Okay. Wait, what? What am I trapped on? Some sort of an ancient barricade device. Oh, look, a school bus. Well, that's American style. You guys see any fossils? <gasps> There's one. We did it, chat. First try. First try. We have discovered a fossil. Uh, I lost it six months later. Well, pff. oh, that sounds like a kid, though. At the age of four, wait, 44. Is that 14 or 44? 40, 14, 44. I could, uh, all I could think about was putting together and painting dinosaur models. I was getting better at it. Uh oh, this is going to be copyright. Don't do it to me, Susan. Uh, this one comes with a manual. It's dead simple. Can I look around? Oh, I can rotate the dinosaur. Uh... Oh, it just snaps together like that? Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Uh Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Can anyone guess what this is? It's a model of something. Yes. It is a Corvette. Now let's do a dinosaur. Now this one's tougher, there's no manual, but I got the sketch at least. Wait, what am, what am I doing?
Lambo Dextrous. Yeah, let's put the tail together. Hey, another two from Ashley. This is cool. Just joined in. Yeah, it's pretty cool so far. Like, we're just... I like how they're trying to make the backstory. It's not just like, uh, hey, let's, um, let's, uh, just start, you know, let's start digging for fossils. Like, it, it's showing why there's a fantasy. Yes, that's right. This one is a horse. Yes, this one is a, uh, I believe a, uh, famous horse. Uh, it is named, uh, technically it's called the Mr. Ed is its technical name. Beautiful. All right, next one. This is probably going to be... Uh, now's the time for the real fun. No manuals, no sketches, just Ooh, sheer knowledge and skill. Oh, this one's going to get tough. Uh, that's the leg. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that looks like the legs. Let's see. I think this is a T-Rex, isn't it? Looks a little too big to be me. And we're good. Boom, mission complete. All right, boys, now it's time to become an actual guy now? Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, maybe I could use more practice and build one of them again. Uh, no? What the? Uh, I even won the local talent show once. They loved my Triceratops. After a couple, of, uh, a couple of years later, the money I got as a reward in a competition turned out to be invaluable help. Okay. Adventure of a lifetime in your 20s? Well, I think it's possible. I was exactly 20 when I found out an article about a paleontologist group in a newspaper. It turned out they needed volunteers who were willing to work at the north end of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity, so I took a risk and signed up for the job. As you probably imagine, it paid off. Oh, like we're 20 now? Wow. Uh, this is the first hunt. To dismiss, wait until the exclamation part turns X. You've got a message. Press M. Okay. Uh, find a hip bone, right arm, and a vertebrae. Okay. Right, pre oh, we gotta go there. Okay. Huh. Oh, cool. We get a car. We can actually drive around in it. Nice, boys. All right, now we're playing some SnowRunner. It's a six-foot turkey? Yes. Let's look around a little bit. Oh, nice. They got trucks and stuff here? Beautiful. Yeah, we're, our first job is to open Jurassic Park, I guess. We got fuel and beds and laptops and stuff. This is the HQ, boys. All right, nice. All right, let's hop in the whip. Follow the pointer on the compass. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, we gotta go to the excavation area. Okay, so we're playing SnowRunner now. Oh, we better go slow. Uh-oh. There's a tree in the way, boys. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, the music stops when I pull out the chainsaw? That's right, I'm serious now. That's right, I'm serious now. It was all fun and games until I got out the chainsaw. That's right. Okay, 
I'll cut these into little little bits. Can I move these around now? I can. Sweet. Yeah, let's just toss these on the side of the road. I doubt the truck's going to be able to push that around. Oh, this is easier than smashing the like button. This is great. Very nice. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Careful. You're not going to cooperate, sir. I'm going to have to put you over there, then. Let's see. Build a campfire to eat dinosaurs. Let's clear this road, boys. Right now, we're... Apparently, we're uh, road... Road service technician, I guess. Okay, one more to clear. Let's put that over here. All right, boys, road's clear. Let's keep rolling. Nice. Apparently we have 2x2, four 4x4, two two, four four, and differential lock. Oh, wow, this thing is basically snow runner. Put one in the trunk. That would be stealing. We're here for the dinosaur bones. Oh, is this actual mud? There's slimy mud ahead of you. Press B to unlock differential and throw it in 4x4, four four, okay? Uh, what button for differential? Oh, N. Okay, apparently it's locked. Yep, okay. Diff lock is on. Alright, hold on, kids. It's gonna take a whole lot of flooring. Dinosaurs taste like chicken? Oh, wow. I love that menu item at KFC. Woo! All right, boys, we did it. We made it through. Let's at least throw an all-wheel drive. There we go. Can I go into first person in this mode? Oh, whoa. Oh, wait a minute. We got a rock in the way. Oh, we better get out get out our chainsaw. Just kidding. Well, that didn't work. Break the stone into smaller pieces. Okay. Look at how he, like, just gently taps it. Like, ooh, you take that rock. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You stupid rock. Silly rock. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Meanie. Oh, wait. It disappears. Oh, we beat the crap out of that rock. It's gone. Vanishing. That's powerful, baby. That's true power. Is this Minecraft? Yes. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Minecraft content. And, uh, oh boy, don't forget to smash like before we hit the big 2 hundo. Thank you guys for the support. Greatly appreciate that. Welcome to the members and all the new subs. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Very nice. Alright. A little harder to drive without first person. Okay, excavation areas on the Give left. Driver shout out. Come on, thank you very much for subscribing. Appreciate that. And where are we going now? We gotta find a place to set up our KFC extraction unit. Oh, there's an excavator there. That must be close to where they found it. I'm trying not to go too fast on this road because this ain't a driving game. It's like most games where driving is kind of like a secondary thing that you do in the game. They usually have like really really weird driving. This game's actually okay, though. Just feels like we're playing SnowRunner. You're close to the excavation site. Park your whip in the designated area. Okay. New subscriber shout-out. Press left-click to secure the area. New subscriber shout-out. Um, 
Oh, hold space to secure the area. Oh, look at that tiny little wheel filling up in the middle. Why is it doing that? Hmm. It's actually building a tent. Cool. Camping is also intense. All right, you've got a message. Press M to check it out on your tablet. Uh, let's see, excavation workflow. New subscriber shout out. We've got some information that the perimeter is already secured. Per perimeter secured, stand down, okay? Stand down, perimeter secured, 10-4, code four. Um, you're prepared for the job. Uh, your equipment is the GPR that you can use to scan the ground with. That stands for uh, ground penetrating radar. Uh, a shovel and a and plaster to secure your findings. Cool. Start your work with the initial GPR, GPR scan. If you find anything, dig it out and secure it with plaster. You'll receive further instructions on fossil transportation in future messages. Ooh. This could be cool. Okay, so we gotta find... Scan the excavation site with the ground penetrating radar. Okay, that's number four. Uh, find a good place and scan. Now what? Find a good place for exploration and scan it. Okay. Telling me like five different times to use the GPR. Okay. I got it. I got it. Wow. I know. Oh, and I know. Wait a minute. Who's that off in the distance? Do you guys see that? Is that... Is that Dr. Ian Malkin? Played by Jeff Goldblum in chat, I think. Yeah, it is. There he is. Hi, Jeff. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, li yeah, life. Yep, finds a way. That's right. Yep, life life finds a way, Dr. Ian Malcolm. It's It certainly does. Who's that? Your wife? Oh, or, or wife's, wife's name's Karen. Well, welcome. Uh-oh. You found an interesting rock formation. Press left mouse button to flag the... Spot. Uh-oh. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, let's flag these interesting locations. Come on, boys. I think we have found ourselves a, um, a d dino -ser. Okay, well, this is a pretty hot spot. Use the shovel or pickaxe to search in the ground, okay? Do we have a shovel? Let's use a shovel. Yes. I'm gonna dig me a hole. Gonna put a nerd in it. Okay. Let's dig out every one of these. Uh, these are just regular rocks, though, but there could be a bone in there. Your chat is broken? I know. One, one, one's in chat if your uh, chat is broken. You look cool with hat and sunglasses? Thanks. I just got this hat today from... Like total tank simulator, so I thought it'd be cool to look into. All right, how do I like? Um, do I need to dig this out more? Why is it still digging? I just clicked once. Um, what does number six do? Oh, that's plaster. Oh, do we need to use it on this? Well. Why did I do that? I don't, I don't know what the procedure is for dino dino fossil hunting, but this must be something. Do I pick it up now? Uh, left mouse button to rotate and examine. You found a fossil. Secure the finding in your plaster and check out the knowledge tab in your tablet. New subscriber. I guess that's the fossil there. Okay, let's set it set it down gently by throwing it. Okay, wait. You found a fossil, secure it. Uh, secure the finding in the plaster, did that, and then check out the knowledge tab in your tablet. All right, let's look at the knowledge tab. Can we get some big brains in chat, please, for the knowledge? Um, the optometrist. I don't know what that means. Uh, how do I... Is this what we're looking for right now? This thing? Um. Does it have a picture of the bones? Or okay. 
Use plaster to secure the fossil. Well, we kind of did. Left mouse button to rotate. You found a fossil. Secure it with plaster and check the knowledge tab in your tablet. Wait, are we in the U.S.? Where are we? He said in the north, so we got to be like... Well, actually, it could be in East State. We could be in Florida. No. Couldn't be Florida. Nothing's on, on fire yet. Let's see. I don't see anything. Okay, I don't, I don't know what to do. Use more plaster? Well, it told me I found a fossil, so... But now I can't, like, leave the fossil menu? New subscriber shout-out. Apparently we found all these ones in yellow, I think. Oh, but here's the process. Excavate, clean of stone, prepared, and then completed. So, so we got to excavate. Uh, you have other fossils to your right. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, but for whatever reason, I can't, like, uh, I can't switch my inventory now. It won't let me switch back to my, uh, tools. Hmm. Yeah, I can't I can't switch to other tools now. So it must must be something in the knowledge base. But I can't click on anything and I can't scroll. Oh, there we go. Press escape. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, we have to use more plaster. Oh, do we use plaster to make sure the rock breaks a certain way? Or what? What's the dealio? I guess you put it in plaster so that way it doesn't break. What am I supposed to do now? Use plaster to secure the fossil. I did. Okay. But I don't know what I want to do in the menu. Let's do it for all the other ones. Okay, so this is definitely a fossil here. Put this one over... Let's bring this back to the truck. And we'll come back here in a second. Use the plaster to keep the fossil from breaking? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna bring this back here, though. Let's gather them all up. Or maybe put it in the... Maybe there's stuff in the tent for it. Wait, there's a box here. Do I just put it in there? Oh... Open the truck, but I'm not done. I didn't even do the other st Okay. Oh, we're, l we're loading these into the truck. I can't. There we go. Uh, use the right mouse button to mark the container transport spot on the map. Oh, up there. Load the rest of the containers and bring them to the transport hub. Oh, so we're just going to move them from this site. Then we're going to do other stuff with them. Ooh, this is cool. Very nice. Thanks again, everybody, for smashing that like button. Thanks for all the super chats. Welcome to those members. You guys are awesome. Best community on YouTube, so I appreciate the support. What's up, the Unknown Prince? We're just looking for fossils today. I wonder if there's, like, more of these now. Uh, load the rest of the containers. Okay, so we need to, like, find fossils then. It's hard to tell which rocks are, like, going to be valuable, though. Oh, I guess the, the useful ones actually appear on radar. So this one's good. So some of these rocks don't count. And some of them are still underground. We'll have to pick them up. Okay, so this one's probably a good one here. Well, that one doesn't count. What about this one? Uh, dump plaster on it. How can I tell? I guess the only way to tell is, like, just carry around the bucket of plaster. And if it turns white, then you know it's a good one. Because it's, it's an actual, like, rock with fossils in it. Okay, maybe we gotta dig it out more. Looks like there's one here. Yeah, good suspension on that truck, huh? Oh, there we go. 
Brown one, says Robert. Well, this one... There's like the light color ones and the dark color rocks, but these ones don't seem to be it. Oh, this one counts, though. Ho, ho. That's a big boy. Okay, can we dump that one on? What the? Right, let's put everything in a pile. Yeah, it'll only let you put uh, plaster on a rock that has a fossil in it. So the I, the goal, I guess, is to just you put them in a pile so I can figure out. it out. Or attack anything that's living with a uh, chainsaw. Hey, welcome to those new subs. You guys are awesome. Okay, not that one. Uh, how do we examine? See, some of these, it won't let me pick up. If I try to right-click... Oh, you have to hold right-click. And then it'll ding, I suppose. Unless right-clicking means that it just... This is further throwing distance. Probably fine. <laughs> Pretty fun to throw stuff around. New subscriber shout-out. Yeah, I think that's just throwing power. Well, let's just pile everything up over here. Make a nice, neat little working area. Wait, how do I... Oh, wait. I can do this with left click. But I don't see any, like... Okay. All right, let's do this. We'll do our to-be-inspected pile, then we'll do our completed pile. So first, let's get these out of the ground. Then we'll put them into the inspection pile. Then we'll... Throw them back into the pit if they're bad. Sound good? Great. Now, apparently, we found, subscriber shout out. like, half of them, right? So I think we just need to find, like, two more. Oh, now we're playing Hydraneer. Okay. Let's see. What does ground penetrating radar say? I think it just identifies rocks in general, but not if there's a bone. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're going to bring all the rocks out of here, and then I'm going to start moving them around. Unless maybe there's different areas to check. Like, is there different areas on the map that we should look at? Maybe they're not all just in one spot, but you'd assume that if a dinosaur died, it didn't, like, you know, accidentally eat TNT and blow up all over the map. But maybe there's different dinosaurs we can find. You think we'll find a potato digging down here? If we find a potato, that means we can have ourselves some uh, Wendy's fries. Oh yeah, you got you guys like the little French fries with the little potato skin on it? I, li I like when they leave a little, you know, a little, little bit of the the tater skin on there. Nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, who doesn't love themselves some Wendy's? Chad, I know you love it. Okay, let's see. Why not vodka? Yeah. Uh, let's see. This rock here is glitched. I think we're walking around in potato chips right now. You can hear it. Okay. Let's try to check these rocks out now. Okay, so that's a bad one, right? Nothing on that one. I don't have to open these up, right? Like, I don't... 
Yeah, it doesn't look like I can break them. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Uh, left clicking doesn't work on this one. I can't inspect this one. Okay, so that must be a bad one. Okay, nothing there. Nope. You know, I can't believe it's taken this long for a game to come up that, uh, you know, it's just simple, like, dinosaur bone hunting. Like, it seems like it could be a lot of... It's, like, really boring, but it's actually really interesting because you got to kind of, like, um, find the bones and assemble the dinosaur. Like, the, the whole process of it is really interesting if you've ever seen it before. Like, in real life, it's really cool. Uh, oh, wait, is this gold? Oh, no, the, the only gold is the uh, golden cheese of uh, Arby's beef and cheddar. That's the only gold we're looking for. Um, you guys are getting a little bit of lag, I see, um, on the screen. Mine is perfect. There's no, like, uh... There's, like, no lag at all. Also, I wonder, if, is there a day-night cycle in this game? Like, do we actually get to turn the lights on at night? That'd be kind of cool. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Good morning from Indonesia. Hi there. Just looking for dino, dino bones. If you guys see one, you got to tell me, because I'm probably not going to, probably not going to notice it. Okay, nothing crazy there. This one I can't really inspect. It's hu huge. Hmm. I feel like this is just like jabate. Like I haven't found any other bones. Like when a when a dinosaur or a person dies, it's you know it be eventually becomes a skeleton in one spot. Oh, here we go. Aha. That's a fossil. Okay, let's leave that one right here. Yeah, that's a good one. I think I see some more on this one. Nope, just some jagged edge. All right, we found two. Takes a while to find, and this one I can't inspect, so it must be junk. Okay, let's do some plaster with this one. So I guess we don't do any of the extraction in the field. We go back to, like, the HQ to do that. Okay. All right. Let's go bring our KFC chicken bones back to Bucket Base, and then we'll pack them up in the old crates and get out of here. Now, this is cool. This is a game I could like. It's really, like, slow. But, like, isn't Farming Sim? Isn't ATS? Isn't Euro Truck? Oh, by the way, is anybody doing the Euro Truck event? By the way, it started today. You have to build a bridge in Italy. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, what do we have to do next? Oh, transportation. Okay, that's... Take the rock to the tent and put it in the transport crate. Well, we already did that. Yeah, we may have missed one. We'll go back and check our pile and see if we accidentally threw one back into the pit. I may have done that. Use GPR on yellow stones? Let's see. Like that? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean like it's going to have a, uh, a uh, dinosaur bone in it. Okay, let's see. There's a few more rocks around. I'm assuming these are going to have to be ones underneath the ground. So these surface rocks are probably not going to count. So let's clear these out of here. And some of them they don't even let you inspect. So that's how you know for sure it's nothing there. Okay, let's check this little one. Wait, this one... 
That floating one I can't do anything with. Okay, that one's not... Nothing there. It must be these rocks though, right? These little... Like, kind of orange colored ones. Yeah, nothing on that one. You love the soundtrack? Yeah, there's no music anymore. I wonder if I can actually turn on... Is there like a radio around here? Maybe back at the tent we can turn on some tunes. If you want, I could put on uh, Brick by Brick or the Sonic 2 soundtrack. If you want. We'll have to get to 200 likes. The only It's the only possible way. Alright, let's see. That doesn't seem to be anything. I feel like it's these like... Yeah, these yellow stones, they kind of look yellow. They seem like granite, though. Imagine a beautiful countertop in this color. I don't know if there's any more here. There's another rock there, maybe. Let's dig that one out. Ah! There it is. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We found him. Okay, we got the third one. Let's set her down and dump some plaster on her. Now, don't get me wrong. This is this is how some of you like to put uh, ranch dressing on your salad. I'm going to eat healthy. It's still healthy. We're all like that. Time for me to eat healthy. I'm going to make an entire cookie sheet of... Orida french fries, but I'm just going to sprinkle a little sea salt on it just to... Okay, and now it's healthy. It's it's literally health food. <laughs> yeah, Fred Flintstone in this game working at the quarry. That'd be cool. All right, let's take these back to base and, like, let's actually break them open. See what's inside. Oh, we're going to put one on the truck? Cool. Strapping down. Strapping down the boxes. All right, cool. Close up the tailgate. Nice. Okay, let's roll. Balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah, you're filled with regret after that. Oh, what the? Okay, apparently there's a gate here. Yeah, let's back it up, boys. Careful, careful. And okay, we gotta go up to the old container zone. Let's try not to go over, like, 20. All right, hold on, everybody. Careful. No, no new members. We got to be really, like, any sort of unnecessary jostling or noise could break these fossils. Nobody subscribe. Nobody smash the like button. Don't become a member. We need to be very cautious right now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nobody play a creeper sound effect. No Owen Wilsons. Don't do it. Up. Ah! I stop. Where are we going anyway? I, th I think we just follow this road. Careful. Apparently the car is being driven by itself, so this is clearly Jurassic Park. With the automated Ford Explorers. Oh, that's a lot of damage! No, no damage. We're just going to drive really slowly to the mine office. While we're also flooring it. Apparently we're almost out of fuel. How... Who would give us a car with like ha like a half tank? Why? Who? Cruelty. Careful. Boy, it's gonna take a whole lot of flooring. Jeez, I'd swear the boxes are probably heavier than the. Uh... Wow. No, Owen. Careful. Oh, 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 oh. Care careful, careful. Ooh, oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Careful, chat. Oh, oh. We hit some mud. This is fine. Okay, here we go. Dang it! Oh no! Behave. Everybody, be chill. I think I think we're good. Wait, why are we burning through so much fuel? I went through like a fourth of the tank just driving like up the road the most inefficient vehicle ever 
Uh, differential lock is on. Differential lock is the little uh, padlock at the bottom. And the tires being orange means she's in 4x4. Four four. Maybe that explains the fuel consumption. Although I don't know if it actually matters in this game. Maybe we better throw it off. Uh, there. Alright, let's just go in 2x2. Two by, two by. Where are we going? I'm just trying not to roll the truck on my first day, that's all. It's usually the second day that I roll the truck. Unload the trunk and put the crates into the skids. Okay. Wow. That turn is sharper than Her uh, Karen's haircut. Heron. Okay, I think we're good. Whew. Okay, so we just gotta unload these bad boys. Oh, we actually have extra fuel. Okay, that's one. Two. Gotta get this bad boy off the top. And that's three. Beautiful! Open the tablet to leave the area and transport the findings to the museum. Or continue the excavation. Well, did we find all the parts? Yeah, we did. They all say excavated here. Although I don't know why. Oh, some of them are. Now yeah, let's just go back. We'll come back. We can come back here anytime. All right, boys, we're heading back to the old base at the museum. Do you want to travel to the museum? Yes. Alright, let's go on to the next job. We'll come back here and do excavation. So this game has excavation in it and also like extraction or whatever, like rebuilding the dinosaur. Cool. Thank you. Oh boy. Where are we now? Wait, we're building this in like a garage? Oh. Enter the station. Uh, remove the plaster and extract the bones. Bone, 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 bone. Oh. Oh, so it starts with some of it extracted. Okay. So let's pick up this. And put it here. Oh, cool. Do we get to use all sorts of different tools? I can't put it down there. Press left click to set up. Oh. Oh, we do it in this little box. So no parts come apart. Ooh, cool. New subscriber shout out. By the way, what's the name? What's the name of this thing? What's his name? His name is Pallet. Pallet Pete. All right, let's enter the station. I guess first we do this first. Oh, no way. This is cool. Oh, this is like taking a cast off. Wait, what, what am I supposed to do? Oh... Oh, I see. Aha. Uh -huh. so the plaster helps to break the rock and preserve the bone. Dude, this is cool. Wait, now it just looks like a giant rock. Come on, bone. Come out of there. Oh, there we go. Cool, this is super cool. Uh, hold space to place the bones onto the table. Uh, over here. Oh! And now we gotta add a little barbecue sauce to them. Get that sweet baby rays out. We're gonna make some ribs, boys. 
Right, just gotta brush them with a little sweet baby rays. You want this game? It's really cool. Uh, hello, I'm a new subscriber. What does he mostly stream about? Um, well, Jack can answer that. We'll let our, we'll let our members des describe Raptor in like in 200 characters. Let's see who wants to write the most interesting 200 word article. Yeah, we're firing up the smoker now for the other ribs. Oh, when you're done, it puts it down on the table. Okay. Wait, is there like a... Can I rotate these? Oh, you can. You can rotate. Ah. How did I zoom in? Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. We're getting a lot of these done. We only got to do this like three times. This is really cool. Really relaxing. Wow. Yeah, it's like Dino Flipper, yeah. It's like we're restoring, uh, you know, there's games about restoring classic cars and wow. homes and stuff. This is actually really cool because it's dinosaurs and that's really neat. Oh, now we got to add, uh, we're adding some glaze now. Yeah, let's add some glaze. What kind of dinosaur did we find? Uh, old one? It's an older model. Could you imagine a Bob Ross simulator? Could you guys imagine that? If there was a painting game? And no matter what you did, Bob said, good job. Okay, all done. Wait, what the? Oh. Some of you may remember this noise from, uh... Yeah. YouTuber, when is the Fortnite stream? But that's none of my business. Yeah, this takes a long time. Ah, this YouTuber sucks. Mom, what? Yes. Yes, Billy. Hey, do we have to do the other side? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting the rust off these. We're using uh, WD-40. Just to remove some of the remaining rust. One million subs by the end of the year? Uh, maybe. 
Uh, if you are liking the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Mostly I like hanging out with Chad. These are kind of just like fun times where we uh, hang out. I've also been thinking about doing uh, like YouTube tips in the future. Like if you guys want to do your own channels, I'd love to do like a members only like live stream every once in a while and explain what I know about YouTube so you guys can play games too. Or whatever you want to do for your channels. Jeez, how many times I got to use tools? What am I doing now? I guess we're getting it down to the primer. New subscriber shout out. There's all this grinding noise and You guys know what comes out tomorrow, by the way? Command and Conquer. Both uh, the original and the Red Alert remakes come out tomorrow. Ooh, I'm excited. I actually get to play it, but uh, I don't know if they're going to let me play it tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe I have to wait a day. We'll see. Are you? How much of this stuff we got to do? Well, now I really respect the amount of work that has to go into preserving and recovering dinosaur bones. Holy crap. This is all about, like, protecting them, and... I suppose if you're going to put it in a museum, there's going to be a lot of light and stuff on them. a little more glaze. Okay, now what? Oh, two more. Oh boy. I'm going to need some help. Can you guys give me a hand? Or an arm? Subscriber shout out. Ah, Uncle Carrot, thanks for uh, subscribing. Appreciate that. How do I rotate this thing? It doesn't let me look around. Oh, you think this is a foot? Oh, I see. Well, it looks like we get off on the wrong foot then on this stream. Well, that's a shame. I can't see the other parts though. They're like off the screen. Am I able to look around? Like WSD doesn't work and... Uh oh. Oh there, that fixed the camera a little bit. Just gotta be quick about it, I guess. There we go. Yay! Nice. Using the bones, you can finally build a skeleton. Okay. And boom. There you go. And now we gotta make the, uh... That's the tail. And I think that's also the tail. Um... Okay, let's grab a rock. Kind of weird how they just leave it here. Well, let's grab the big one. I guess that was the big one. Tap, tap, tap. 
Yeah, very chill game, yeah. It's on, like, par with, like, ATS and stuff. You know, in all the other games, I felt like, hurry, 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 but... Like, this is just a really chill, relaxed game. Because there's so much to see, but this one's just like... Hey, man. It's dinosaurs. They're not gonna go anywhere. Alright, press base to hold and put them on the table. Very nice, boys. Very nice. Okay, enter the station. Oh, boy. We gotta do all this again. Oh, boy. We gotta do this three times, then we have ourselves a dinosaur. With dino DNA. So this must be the, uh, the midsection. Then we'll do the head and the neck last. New subscriber shout We're a dino chiropractor. Uh, Gilberto, thanks for subscribing, dude. Appreciate the support. Dun, dun, dun. Can you eat the bones? Uh, no. I've tried. Believe me. You think they'll ever make a taxidermy game? That kind of just sounds gross. At least for me. It'd be a hard sell, wouldn't it? Hey, do you want to stuff a bunny? Uh, I'd like to hunt a bunny. Oh, a Boeing 7... New subscriber Boy, yeah, a plane out. assembly? That'd be cool. Well, plane mechanic... Yeah. Oh, that's very complicated, though. Plane mechanic? Takes a long time. Uh, right now, we're just... This is actually a detective game. We're trying to take these chicken bones and find out who ate our KFC. And when I find it out, whoever in chat ate uh, KFC, you're going to be in so much trouble. You're going to be in... Oh. Oh, you're gonna be in a lot. However much trouble you're gonna be in, you're gonna be in it, and you'll and you'll know. That's right. I do like this system though. Like it lets you put it down after you're like done with the bone. Like, it just automatically puts it on the table so you know it's done, which is nice. All right, that should be done. A little bit more, I guess. There it goes. Perfect. All right, we got to add that sweet baby raise. Actually sounds like if you ever go to get your hair, you know, like the, the trimmer at the barbers. Uh, do you want the sideburns or no? No, get rid of the madam. Or a beard trimmer or an electric toothbrush. Now you want to order some ribs? Yeah, you may as well. Like, oh, what'd you do last night, Leon? Well, I ordered some ribs while I watched a YouTuber uh, ma making uh, ribs, basically. Da -da 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 -da. Guys, we're almost up to the big 300 in likes, too, so if you haven't smashed that like button, let me know. You love the channel by smashing like. Appreciate everyone being here and hanging out. I can finally see all the people watching again, so that's nice. Chat and things are working again for me, so that's a celebration. So thank you everyone for being here. Best community on YouTube, so thanks for being a part of it. Well, let's flip them over. And hello everyone in chat. Good to see you all here. Hi. Yeah, don't be afraid of saying hi if you've never said anything in our chat before, you're always welcome to say hello. 
We have a lovely, lovely chat. And we have some really lovely members too. Do we have to break the wishbone, by the way? Is that a thing we should do? That'd probably be a bad idea, huh, if we're trying not to get fired. I guess technically we own the museum. Or wait, no, we're supposed to be like some 20-year-old or something. Which, I don't know, a 20-year-old doing this? This seems like... Well, I guess whatever, so long as they're skilled and patient. What people are lacking nowadays from a lot of jobs is just patience. Just patience. And discipline. A lot of things take patience and discipline. Like folding socks. An actual cooking stream? I've done cooking streams before. Just to like see how it would go and stuff. It turned out pretty good. A lot of people watched. I should actually do one now that I have a nicer kitchen. But I... Uh, I don't know what I would cook. Uh, the problem with uh, cooking, though, is it just takes a while to do. Like, for example, once you've gotten... Not like if you're making chicken or something. Once you get to a certain point, a lot, a lot of cooking is either a lot of intensity and a lot of movement or a lot of waiting. There's really nothing in between. You know, like if you're going to make uh, chili or something like that, you don't really have to do much. Or maybe we could... Ooh, you know it'd be really fun. There used to be this show on TBS called Dinner in a Movie. You guys remember this? And they would, like, uh... They'd show a movie, like Fargo or The Terminator or something like that. And they'd come up with a recipe that was somehow related to the movie. It's kind of like binging with Babish, except, you know... They would do it over the course of a movie, and so it would... You could watch the movie while you're also cooking the recipe. It'd be really cool to, like, be able to... Like, put something in the slow cooker, and then, uh, while we're waiting, we're, we can stream, and then everybody can start their crock pots at the same time or whatnot, and then at the end of the stream, we can all eat. That'd be cool. But, of course, it's always this different time for everybody. But it'd be a good thing to pass out a recipe. Yeah, Babish. Yeah, B Binging with Babish is really good. His presentation and his comedy style. He's very dry. He's mundane and, like, boring on purpose, and it makes him really funny. Like, he's he's really funny. All right, let's add some more Sweet Baby Rays. Da -da 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 -da. A venison recipe? Boy, it's been a long time since I've had venison. Jeez, I can't even remember the last time I had it. I think it was just jerky that I had, which was really nice. Do I speak other languages? A few, but not, not like super fluently or anything. I speak uh, the Use McDonald's the menu. That's out. one of my fluent languages. John, thanks for subbing, dude. Uh, left click, right click. Oh. Focus on bone or skeleton. I can't rotate the skeleton, though. That's kind of annoying. Can you put it on the other side, please? Why won't it put it over there? There it goes. Are we missing some parts? What happened? What the... Oh, they're behind there. <laughs> I was like, where'd they go? <laughs> they're right there. I thought it was like part of the leg. Lol. Okay, we're good. Let's throw this on. There we go. All right, let's do the head now. It's kind of like a puzzle game, really. This is more like a interesting puzzle game, you know. Like it, we are literally putting together like a puzzle. That'd be kind of cool. I miss the days. Um, somebody used to have like a, in my family. They had like a Packer Bell and a bunch of like cheap games and stuff. 
And you could take pictures and like put it into the game and then it would cut it up into a jigsaw puzzle. And you could make the jigsaw puzzle more and more complicated as you, uh, you know, like as you wanted. So that was always fun to do. Primetime Gaming is upgraded to a Raptor Plus. Thank you very much for your continued support and the big O upgrade. Wow. Let's get some wows in chat. Let's get a wow wall for our awesome support tonight. You guys are awesome. Thank you for smashing like. We're almost up to the big three hundo, so I appreciate that. We got a lot of new subscribers, so thank you very much for that. Got the best community here, so thanks for the support. Would I ever play Kingdoms and Castles again? Oh, of course. I'll always go back to any game so long as there's an update in time. All games are based on, like, what's new and what's going to help the channel to grow, you know? Like, this is a game that's new, so that's why I'm playing this now. And it's pertinent to the channel, because, you know, the channel name and stuff. Wow, those look like a bunch of little chickens, don't they? A bunch of little roast chickens. Wow. All right, let's get to it then. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Cornish game hens, yeah. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're going to throw some Cornish game hens into the roaster. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, my ancient ancestors are here. Why do we have to talk about food all the time? When do we not talk about food? Food brings people together, man. Whenever you have a get-together, you got to have food. People love to uh, eat and talk about food. It's always the best when you make something, you know, and you get to see people enjoy it, too. Especially when you put in some real effort to it. You know, like when you're uncle or something's like yeah i've been slow cooking these ribs for 800 days and it's like okay well these are really good my secret recipe is i add marshmallows it's like you ever see you ever hear somebody say something crazy like that too or like it's like why oh, I, I like to put in uh a little bit of nutmeg and then hot hot peppers and it's like oh that's what's in this these mashed potatoes well they're pretty good i would have never guessed that secret recipe is I like to take a shake and then uh, and then I bake oh okay that's what that is yeah shake and then I bake okay bum, bum, bum. what kind of game is this oh it's a simulator of like uh, finding dinosaur bones and right now we're trying to like restore the bones flip these over now looks like they're getting a little grilled on one side we gotta flip over these Cornish gain hens I wonder if uh, Gordon Ramsay will come in and yell at us. Pickle juice to mashed potatoes? Well, I guess that kind of makes sense because, like, dill and potato go together well. That must have been like a... That must have been like a Great Depression recipe or something like that. There's that... Uh, there's also that channel of that, like, 95-year-old woman or something called, like, Great Depression Cooking or something like that. And she'll take, like, uh, three or four dollars worth of ingredients, which, you know, back in the day was probably, like... I don't know, 50 cents or something like that for all the stuff she would cook. Like dandelion salad and stuff. Okay, we're almost done. Just a little bit on those neck bones. <laughs> yeah, the bones are yellow, so they're it means my uh, ancient relatives were royalty. You can You can tell. Bum, bum. What would dinosaur meat taste like? I, I don't know. Probably like chicken. A lot of them were herbivores, so probably. Okay, those are done. Seems like the best course of action in this game is just to rotate like this on the small pieces so there's no way you're gonna get it all these also look like Cheerios or something oh apparently they used washers those dinosaurs used to use washers I guess to make sure the bolt didn't uh, get rusted down they ever had to do maintenance on their vertebrae
Oh, there we go. And get out that sweet baby rays. Here we go. Any more to do? Oh. What's going on here? Like a little bit left. Where could it be? Uh, yes, the dinosaurs, leading cause of extinction for the dinosaurs is that they died to death. Which is why you don't see any anymore. There we go. Alright, sweet baby raise time. Just adding a little extra layer of glaze. Tastes like frog and alligator. I've had escargot before. I actually liked it, so I had it twice. And it is a very exotic thing. But I think I ordered it just to be like, ah, yes, my escargo is here, yeah. Escargo is snail? Yes, it is. Dino on the Barbie? Oh, man. How dare you. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba. Has to be better than Loot Fisk? Yeah, in Minnesota, a lot of uh, like Scandinavian grandmas will talk about Loot Fisk and stuff. I think there's part of uh, parts of Minnesota where they still speak like Norwegian, Danish, and Swedish. Don't you know? This makes you want to watch Jurassic Park. Imagine watching me play this game while also playing this game yourself while also watching Jurassic Park. That's pretty amazing. I really want there to be a more immersive Jurassic Park game, though. In terms of like managing a park, like I know there was that one game, but I want it to be more like Planet Coaster, or more like more like Planet Zoo. I want there to be more complexity to it, because otherwise everything just turns into dinosaur battle arena, and it's like uh... after you get bored, you just kind of have to. It's like the first or last thing you do. Yeah, oofta. Yeah, it's actually a Norwegian term. That's why people say oof. It's shortened for oofda. Which is something you say after, like, great stress or strain. Which is where that comes from. There's actually, like, festivals for it in Norway. Yeah, generate... Operation Genesis. That's a great game. That's what inspired that new uh, Jurassic World game. And so you can check that out on the channel, too. I did stream that. All right, boys, this is the end. We're almost done here. We're almost there. And this makes me feel like I'm getting a haircut. Jurassic World has new DLCs. Is it anything past the uh, original Jurassic Park one? I love that they got all the they got almost everybody together for that Jurassic Park game for the DLC for it. They got Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> they got uh, uh let's see. They got e they got um Ian Malcolm, uh Dr. Sadler and Dr. Grant. And then uh, they had to get somebody to play uh well, they got a oh, new character in there, and that was about it. And they also had to get what's-his-name in there. But I forget his name. Dr. Uh, I mean, um... What's that guy's name? Um... Boy, how... I forgot his name. Who's the, who's the guy who, like, opened the park? Not... Um... 
Oh, wow. I forgot his name. Wong? No. The original guy. The guy played by Attenborough. Yeah. Richard Hammond. George Harrison, yeah. Yeah, John Hammond. <laughs> yep, the original Beatles. Yeah, we're almost done. A little bit more on the outside there. There we go. Yeah, it's like a weird little, like, um, I guess like a little electric chisel or something for detailing. A new member. Welcome. Ooh, a new member. Awesome. Thank you very much, Paul, for the support. If you guys haven't already, you can click or tap that join button to become a member, too, and support the channel if you'd like. I never try to put anything behind a paywall, so anything, any, any of our members have just gone above and beyond the, uh, the call of support, and that's really nice of you all. I do want to do more for members. I, like I said, I was thinking about doing like a private members-only stream, but just for like YouTube tips, just because I don't think everybody would really care. But we'll see. Oh, hi, Pinto. Yeah, I actually got this hat today from uh, Total Tank Simulator. They sent me a bunch of stuff, and like a fifty. 50 caliber ammo drum so I got that and this this shirt that says total tank simulator and I'm just wearing it for the lols and right now we're making a Cornish game hens so hopefully they're done soon Pinto bless could we get a Pinto bless wall in chat please Yeah, there's Total Tank Simulator videos on the channel. Yeah, Pinto's become a good meme. Hi, Raptor. Just watched your last video by that World War II... Oh, the, yeah, the, uh, the bunker one. That was pretty cool. I can't believe the amount of people who corrected me for, like, a Poland joke. Like, there's, um, there's a license plate, right? And it said CZ on the back of the car. So, obviously, that means, you know, Czech Republic. And, uh, everybody was like, that's not Poland! God, you guys, I know. And I even played this, like, I made a joke, and then I put this alarm up, and it's like... New subscriber shout-out. The amount of people who don't know comedy, it's like, wow, dude. It's like, Raptor, what are you working on right now? Oh, this is a big chicken. It's actually... I was like, all right, jeez. Oh, boy, so many billies. Ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, it's a six foot turkey we're working on. Pinto usually likes a 12 inch club, though. Or a Black Forest ham. A foot long. I think he's a, I think he's a wheat bread guy. No. No. He's probably, probably it's Italian, maybe. The one where they put, like, oats and stuff on it. Or whatever the herb crusted one. Pinto's Pinto's uh he's not he's not simple. But he likes fancy. Especially if I'm buying. It's like, oh Pinto, you hungry? Oh bread and water's fine. Oh don't worry, I'm buying. Oh yes, yeah, so I'll have my selfie. That's called go with a side of caviar. These two circular bones? Uh, probably neck vertebrae. They probably connect really close to the, uh, 
to the head or something. We'll see. We're learning. Just adding a little extra barbecue sauce. There we go. And now we put her all together. Oh, it's the eye sockets. Oh. No, that's a lot of damage! Okay. I wonder how they connect these together. They must use some sort of, like, metallic pieces to keep it in shape. And there we go. All done. Let's slap this together. Ooh, the door's opened. What's this? E to design an exhibit. Cool. Oh, I thought we could go out to like the main thing. Oh, dude! We actually get to design it ourselves. Oh, cool. Wait, how do I design one? Oh, let's put two of them together. Can we put them facing the door? Oh, you can change the, uh, the stance. Cool. How do I rotate? U and E rotates. Ah, neat. So we built two of them. Build one here. Oh, this is really cool. Um, let's l use grass or something. Okay, the next person to click or tap join, we are going to name the two dinosaurs af after the next two members. We're going to name these. Oh, I can Oh, I can pick all this stuff too. Oh, dude. Oh, that's really detailed. I didn't know you could design the exhibit. That's way cooler than I thought. I thought it was just like going to be an auto-complete thing, but the fact that we can design this is super cool. Although I don't know anything about this animal to like... Oh wow, look at how huge it is. There's a pine tree, guys. Look at how massive... It's the biggest dinosaur. It's Godzilla! Probably not. Uh, oh, so we can pick the ground. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, let's put some rocks down. Uh, you can now decorate your exposition or end... No, I want to keep playing. I want to play, bro. Let me play. Oh, can I not, like, overlay rocks on top of each other? Okay. okay maybe this dinosaur hangs out on the rocks. I don't, I don't know anything about it to, like, actually design it. Name it Ted. Well, position's open for our next member. Let's see, what is this stuff? Oh, little logs. Cool. Yeah, now we're, yep, Bob Ross mode initiated. We're, we're Bob Ross, all right. Well, this is in North America, so it probably, well, that could have been tropical back then, I don't know. Can I design the lighting? We can actually paint the ground. Can I paint the ground? Oh, it's just all one color. Let's make it look a little different. No. No, God, no. That's probably the best one right there. Okay, and then we can change... Well, I like the way he looks, like he's like he's looking over. That's really cool. Bum, bum, bum. New member, welcome! Oliver Lanford. Hey, all right. It's Oliver. Oliver. Thank you very much, Oliver, for the support. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, add another one. How do I build another one? Camera left, right. Right click to move camera with mouse. Okay, I think we're good. Let's add another one. Okay, one more member to go. Let's design this next one. Let's have this one doing something different. Wait, this is a bigger dinosaur. Wait, are these two different dinosaurs? Oh, just their pose. 
makes them different sizes. Cool. Whoa! That one's standing up on his legs. Cool. Yes, we have a shiny hat now. That's right. Let's put this one over here. Now let's put him right on the other side. Oh, wow. He's standing up on his hind legs. Look at how tall he is. Well, that's really neat. Okay, let's do... Something a little different. Let's do rocks, maybe? Let's do a rockier... Uh, We'll name this one uh, Bullwinkle in the meantime. Oliver needs a friend, though. Boom, boom, boom. We'll probably put a plant over here. Something. You're considering joining, but you don't know when? Now's a good time. You get a dinosaur named after you. Ooh, that's cool. Or anybody who upgrades, I suppose. Anybody who upgrades our membership, too. If you'd like to. Oh, this looks cool. It'll kind of make it look like he's crossing, like, a... Maybe, like, a shoreline, like a river. Maybe he's walking in some shallow water or something. And he doesn't want to get his feet wet. <laughs> it's like, Ew, it's wet. Oh, this looks cool. Let's rotate this. Well, that's cool. Can I put two on top of the, each other like this? Oh, I can't do that. Bro, why do I keep getting unsubscribed from me? Uh, I don't know. But if you if you haven't subscribed, now's a good time to smash subscribe and then turn the notification bell on so you get notified about streams. A lot of people don't turn it on thinking that YouTube, you know, is trustworthy and stuff. It's it's really not. If you if you don't click on notification bells, a lot of the time people show up late and say, I didn't get the notification. It's because they haven't turned it on. So make sure you do that. And if I'm playing something that you're just not interested in, you just ignore it. But I've turned it on. For all the channels I watch, I've turned it on. And I'm happy I get the notifications. A lot of the times I'm just like, oh, I'm probably not going to watch that. But there's been at least four or five times, especially this last month, where I've like really wanted to see new new stuff on games. So I made sure I checked it out. This looks good. Can I redesign this other one? No, I think this is fine. The, the, both of these look really good. One's like grasslands, the other one's like a river. Cool. Nice. Well, they look really good. I wonder if there's a way to actually put two of them New together. Shout out. Like it'd be kind of cool to combine two of them into one exhibit. We got no more dinosaurs, though, so... Alright, let's go... Uh, let's see. Thank you for playing the Dinosaur Fossil Hunter demo. If you want to follow the development of this game, report a bug or whatnot, go to the Discord. Remember to add it to your wish list and whatnot and whitelist. Okay, cool. If you finish the demo but the museum stays open, you can continue playing if you want. Have fun. I'm going to continue. This is fun. Can I go into the museum? Well, how do I go into the museum? Oh, maybe I have to go to the map. No. Nope. Uh, hmm. Really looks more like a British town. Like a lot of these buildings are very close together as if it were the UK or something. How do I go back out into the world? Do, 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 do. What's up, Pilot Pro? How you doing, dude? Welcome. Oh! Actually, that's quite nice. You can see the shadow of the dinosaur. They put in a lot of good detailing to the shadows and stuff. Really nice. We must already had one in storage to start with that we got a freebie. Yeah, because we can't build anymore. What does this do? What does that bar do? I don't know. That's the end of the demo and the end of the game. But it says here, it says you finished the demo, but the museum stays open. You can now continue playing if you want. It says I can keep playing. I want to keep playing. Yeah, 
Add to wish list. Well, let me click that. Maybe it'll let me go. Maybe I click main menu and then continue. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe if I go back to the main menu and continue, it'll let me keep rolling. Bum, 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 bum. Almost to 300 likes, boys. Make sure you smash like before we hit the big 300. Thanks again for the support. It's so nice to see you. Thank you, guys. Very nice to you all. Ah, so we're back here again. Remove the plaster and extract the bones. Oh, so it kind of is the end of it. So by continuing, you just can keep redesigning. That's weird. They should do something a little different for the demo. Where you can actually like go back and extract some more dinosaurs. This must be the only one they have it in the dis in the game so far. Very nice. And there we are at the 300. Thanks guys for all the lovely support. You guys are awesome. Cool. Well, I guess that is the end of the demo then. If we start again, we go back out to the world. But I'm assuming when the game is complete, you'll be able to do whatever you want any time. So if you're really interested in digging them up, then you can stockpile a bunch of dinosaur bones here at the warehouse. And then... They'll be in these boxes once you finish. So when you bring them in, they come in these boxes. When you assemble the stuff, you probably move it around the museum like that. And then you bring things to other other places. Is chat frozen? Oh, chat froze for me. Sorry. Um, couldn't find a download button for the demo. Yeah, the demo is currently like YouTuber only. So just look for... Um, if you want to add it to your wish list. Uh, Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. You can see only me and Thurston have access to it for now. So it's coming 2020, but no actual release date. And apparently, it's also from the same people as Rover Mechanic Simulator, and also another game called Occupy Mars. And it looks like they have a Kickstarter, so if you want to check that out, that actually that might be a good play, place to follow them is on Kickstarter, because then you can uh, actually maybe get access to a demo there, that kind of thing. Can, can dinos dance? Probably. Probably. All right, boys. Well, shorter stream than usual tonight, but I'm going to wrap it up here since there's really no other dinosaurs to explore, I go, I guess. But I'm going to go record some more videos for you guys. Tomorrow we're going to do Euro Truck Simulator 2 has its bridge event uh, taking place in Italy. We're building like a, a highway bridge tunnel stuff. So uh, I'm going to deliver some of that stuff and get started with that probably tomorrow and Saturday. And then we're also going to do Derail Valley this weekend. So make sure you check down below in the description to see the schedule for live streams and upcoming videos. You guys have been awesome. Thank you very much for smashing the like button. Thanks for hanging out with me. This was a fun one. I'm glad I did this as a live stream. It's a good one to hang out with. I'm going to get out of here and do some more recordings for you all. So I hope to see you all back tomorrow for more. And uh, have a great weekend, everybody. It's been good to have you here. You all take care. And I'll see you next time. If you have any other game suggestions, make sure you hop on the Discord with the links down below. Join uh, the Facebook page and Instagram, too. You guys can see some of the other cool stuff I do on Instagram. So thank you very much for being here and uh, hanging out with me. You guys have yourselves a lovely evening, good night, afternoon, whatever. Cool. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Goodbye. Now, we got to go out of here with some music. So what am I, what am I going to choose for some music? We need something other than this song, other than this game. Let me, let me think. Let me think. We'll do, uh, let's see, Ace Combat 5. Uh, let's see. Or maybe four. I think we're going to do Ace Combat 5. Uh, Journey Begins. But the actual just instrumental part of it. Let's do that one. Let's see if that comes up. Okay. Oh, this is a 12-minute song? Hell no. Let's just do this one. <laughs>